الغوس الغوس خلصنا من النار يا روس الغوس خلصنا من النار يا رب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجه. Yesterday we looked at the word or the phrase يا من هو شديد المحال. Today let's proceed and look at يا من هو سريع الحساب. That's the next um, phrase that comes in the section four of دعاء الجوشن الكبير. سريع الحساب is something that, well, we understand fairly easily than compared to the other words that have been used in this section. We read a lot about it as well in the Quran, Ya سريع الحساب. But today I want to share with you three different understandings of the word Ya سريع الحساب. And then what does that mean for you and me? How does that understanding impact our lives? Well, one understanding of Sari or Hisab, of course, the translation is Sari, very quick, really express and fast. Hisab is accountability. Sari or Hisab, very quick in taking Hisab. Now, one understanding of this is in the aspect of time. At a very quick time, in a very quick manner, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take accountability of everything from Adam till Khatam, from the first human being to the last human being. It's not going to take Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot of time. So when we think about, oh my God, I have to calculate my homes, I have to you know, do this, and I think of accountability, and I think of time that goes into balancing and accounts. But for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's not restricted by time. Sari al hisab. That's one understanding that comes by time when we think of hisab or accountability. The second understanding is that huwa sari al hisab in such a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have to wait for the day of judgment to take hisab. It's not like, oh, when the world ends and then there will be something and he doesn't have to wait. We sometimes see the consequences of our actions right here in this world. So it's not all about this will happen in Aqaba or God will take uh, accountability or reckoning on in Aqaba. Yes, that is the great day of accountability. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have to wait till that time. If he wishes, he can show us the consequences of our actions and we see the consequences of our actions in this world as well because our actions have some consequences that are immediate and some consequences that happen in our we will see in our grave and some in the hereafter so sari al hisab is not like oh god has to wait till i die or god has to wait till the world is ended and god has to wait till mahshar is you know is is uh, raised and then there will be hisab how was sari al hisab that's the second understanding. And then the third understanding is what Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam talks about where he says God's accounting or God's reckoning is not like how we do hisab. So today if you're a teacher or if you're a departmental store owner, when you do hisab, you go one by one, you know, one item by the other, one person by the other. Allah is sari al-hisab, not like that. It's not like, oh, uh, person A, you wait because God is doing the hisab of person B. You have to wait. He'll do A, B, C, D, and then he'll come, you know, from Adam to Khatam. Amir al-Mu'mineen says he is not going to do this one by one. And it, even though when people will be called in groups and people will be called as individuals, they will be experiencing it one by one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sari al hisab. And when they asked Amir al-Mu'mineen, what do you mean? He doesn't have to do hisab of people one by one or one after the other. 
Amir al muminin says, so many people, billions of people wake up in the morning. Do they have to wait for their rizq one by one? Allah will say, no, wait, I have to first give the rizq to people in America and then I'll give the rizq to people in Russia and then I'll give the rizq to people in India and then I'll go to give the rizq to people. It, it's not like that. When Allah can give rizq to so many people at the same time, doesn't go one by one or first let the parents eat and then let the children eat, let me give their rizq first and then this. It's not like that. In the same way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to take the hisab of everyone at the same time. Doesn't have to go one by one. You're probably thinking, Mahajibin, what is the meaning of this? In the Quran, we read that the day of judgment will be 50,000 years long. Then if, if God is Sari al hisab and he can take hisab so quickly, why does that day have to be 50,000 years long? So the Mufassirin tell us that the 50,000 years is, is so that people can see that justice is served. It's not that Allah will take that long to do the hisab of everybody because he is Sari al hisab but it will take that long for people to see the justice being served. It will take me time to see my book, to see that what has been done with my accounts is fair, is just. Only so that justice can be served and perceived will the time be taken. Otherwise, Allah is Sari al hisab well, all these three understandings that I could share with you, I shared. But then at the end of the day, you're going to ask me and, and like is our way in, in, in Dua Al-Joshan, we're trying to see what is the impact, the practical meaning of all these words in me, for me in my life. Well, the practical impact of Ya Sari Al-Hisab is, well, I'm being accounted. Everything I do is counted about me. Nothing escapes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My parents, you know, when, when a child is born, the, what do the parents do? What do the family do? They count the years, right? First birthday, second birthday. When you get married, you count your anniversary, you know, 10th year anniversary, 20 years, 25 years. We all count. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's count, when na'uddu lahum adda, Allah says in the Quran, we are counting them in a different way. Not like how our parents count or how we count. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala counts and is aware of the breaths I take. Every second that I've been here in this planet, not just here, but even before coming here, when I'll be in my barzakh, when I'll be on the mahshar, every moment of my life is being written down and counted. Wa na'uddu lahum adda. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we have appointed counters for them. Everything about them is being counted. It means that every action I do, وَمِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةً خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةً شَرًا يَرَى Every good, every bad is being counted and accounted for. Every action, not just every action, but every thought, every thought that I think is also accounted. And even if it's not a formal thought, it is something that just stays within my heart. Every feeling, whatever is hiding in my in my heart that my thought, my mind doesn't know about it, but my heart feels it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accounts for it. So in a practical way, Ya Sari al hisab impacts me by making myself aware that everything about me, my actions, my thoughts, my feelings are being accounted which makes me more responsible and also gives me hope that nothing about me is going unnoticed. But Allah is also accounting my assumptions and this is what scares me sometimes. You know, sometimes we make these assumptions. All Indians are like that. Oh, all Americans do this or all 
Pakistanis are like this or all, you know, we, we have this, these people and that people and we make assumptions about them. And Allah will also hold me accountable for my assumptions. How did I come to those assumptions? So I hope when we read, Ya man huwa sari al hisab, we take a moment and we realize that everything we do, think, feel, assume, we're going to be accountable for it. And at the same time, because we are being watched, there is hope for us that God is listening to us and He's listening to our du'as. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer you in this month with the best answers. And may Allah make our hisab an easy hisab, especially for the marhumin. We pray, we pray whose names will you will see on the slides soon. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الغوس الغوس خلصنا من النار يا رب